Hello, all. It's your girl Tiffany, Metalicious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the message that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we are going to get started. I do hope that everybody is doing well and feeling well on tonight. So let's look what's going on. We have seduction here, okay? This talks about attraction, teasing, cooking up, dating. Um, it can also talk about third-party situations or even temptation, okay? Somebody is interested in you. Somebody may be trying to seduce you in some type of way. Um, however, this could be your energy. You could be seducing somebody in some type of way. But we have healthy choices here, okay? So this talks about self-love and self-care, okay? Being happier. Um, this also speaks to love and life here, okay? So, um, whether you are seducing someone or somebody is seducing you, make sure that you are making healthy decisions, healthy choices as it relates to your love life, your sex life, okay? We have Cupid's arrow here, okay? So this says, have faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation struck by love here, okay? So I feel like somebody is definitely interested in you, okay? You could have been struck by this Cupid's arrow, arrow, Somebody else could feel this way about you, okay? But this is the reason why this seduction is here, okay? Uh -oh. So we have soulmates here. So this has soul connection, partnership, soul contracts, and life partner, okay? So whoever this person is um, who is coming in to seduce you, who is attracted to you, who feel like they've been struck by Cupid's arrow, it's your soulmate spirit is saying here, okay? Um, obviously, I'm speaking to somebody who is uh, single, okay? Because spirit is telling you to have faith. Love is coming, okay? So some of you may be in this energy where you've kind of given up on love or something like that. But spirit wants to assure you that love is coming. Whoever this soulmate is, we have old school here, okay? Whoever this soulmate is, this person is older, Okay? Um, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. They are older. Uh, they, this person could be older than you, um, but they are a more mature person. So we're going to, we're not going to say, oh, we're going to say more, we're going to say a mature person here. Sunglasses is at the bottom of the deck here. So this person is definitely watching you. Okay. Some way, shape, form or fashion. Okay. This person, um, it just depends on how this person came about you. Okay. So like if. Um, if you work somewhere, you're into customer service or something like that, this person may frequent your job. Or if this person lives in your neighborhood, this is how they've seen you. Or you could be on social media or even a dating site or platform or something like that. This person is watching you, though, some way, somehow, okay? This has watching, looking, perception, even stalking, okay? But, you know, this person could be doing so from a distance, but they definitely have their eye on you <laughs> with this energy being here, okay, guys? So we're going to get some further clarification um, for this situation. We're going to see what else is going on here, okay? Let me move this to the side here, okay? Let's see what else is going on. So Spirit Clarify Seduction. So we have clock here, okay? This says need time, takes time, end time cycles, time to heal progress here, okay? I feel like with this clock energy here, this person is waiting for the right opportunity to come in and like flirt with you or uh, seduce you in some type of way, okay? This could be divine timing at play for you all, uh, you know, meeting, um, you know, when you meet each other or what have you, um, or this person is just waiting for the perfect time to... <laughs> um yeah seduce you we even got sedu seduction here in this deck okay it came back out here okay spirit is saying that this person is a healthy choice okay i do feel like something is going to happen suddenly with this person like you single today 
Um, and you probably have been single for, for, for months, for years, for whatever. But like this lightning strike here, this is something, this person's going to come into your life like this lightning strike, like all of a sudden out the blue, okay? This talks about sudden change, shocking news, surprises, epiphanies, upheavals, even transformation here. This is here on healthy choices here, okay? So it's like... There's some type of divine timing at play for you all to come into connection with one another. This person is waiting for the perfect opportunity to to um, reach out to you um, or what have you. But when it happens, it's like all of a sudden it's going to happen, okay? Um, so we clarify Cupid's arrow. Clarify Cupid's arrow. So we have kisses here, okay? This is unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love, okay? This person has really fallen for you, whoever this person is, okay? I feel like this person is very smitten with you, okay? They really, really desire you in some type of way here, okay? This person may fantasize about uh, maybe making out with you or something like that or what have you. So you clarify soulmates. So we have ascending here, transcending um, obstacles, learning um, expansions, new phases, preparing for union here, okay? So this person is preparing for this union with you here, okay? But it's like they're waiting, I don't know, they've been behind the scenes just kind of waiting for the perfect opportunity to let you know how they feel about you. Spirit clarify old school here. So we have the coffee cup here. This says meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship here, okay? So this person definitely um, at some point wants to strike up a conversation with you, wants to let you know who they are, um, that they're attracted to you, how they feel about you, and introduce themselves, exchange numbers, what have you. This coffee cup could also be you all, you know, you're meeting and greeting, you're conversing back and forth, and, you know, building a friendship, building a relationship, okay, with one another here, okay? So that's what's going on here, guys. Um... So let's see, since we got soulmate out here, let's see what the soulmate, we're going to pull a soulmate card here and see um, what soulmate message you get for this person here, okay? This is my soulmate oracle deck. What soulmate message for this couple? This says, you understand me so well. I can be my true authentic self with you, Okay. So this person feels like you would understand them really well, okay? They feel like they can be their true authentic self, um, that they can be open and honest with you, you know what I'm saying? That this person may feel like they don't have to put on some type of, you know, stunt or front to be with you. They could just, you know, y'all can be open and free with one another, okay? So bottom of the deck we have here, a spiritual force brought us together. So that's what I was talking about, about that divine timing, okay? The universe, your archangels, your guardian angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, the most high God could be at work, okay, in the spiritual realm to bring you all together here, okay? Considering the fact that this is your soulmate here, okay, guys? So let's get some romance oracles and see what's going on so we have past life relationship here okay spirit is saying that you have known each other before whomever this person is at whatever point in time they want to come in this is somebody you're going to have a very strong bond or connection um with this person because you all had a past life together with this past life relationship it's going to feel like you've known this person before or something okay and it's because you all have this past life together hold on guys spirit clarify healthy choices and lightning Healthy choices and lightning. So we have honeymoon here, okay? So this says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, okay? Perhaps when you meet this person, it may be around a significant holiday. However, it doesn't have to be, okay? And this honeymoon doesn't have to be like the honeymoon that a married couple going on after they wed or whatever. This is just about um, you all coming together and having a good time together, getting to know one another. Okay, so we're clarify uh, Cupid's arrow. 
So we have here is safe for you to love here, okay? So we're just saying open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love, okay? This is sitting here with Cupid's arrow and kisses here, okay? Look at that. Soulmate came out on soulmate and ascending. This is your soulmate, okay? If you have been waiting on your soulmate, you have not, you know, maybe you are not aware of who your soulmate is. This is your soulmate, okay? Spirit is saying that, yes, this is your soulmate, okay? Soulmate is out here twice. That is interesting. That, not, that like, never happens, okay? So we're clarify old school and coffee cup here. What is this old school and coffee cup? So we have express your love. This person definitely at some point wants to express to you how they feel about you, okay? Um, this says go ahead and make the romantic gestures, okay? So that's definitely what this person is going to do at some point in time here. Um, this person wants to tell you how they feel. I keep seeing children, so you may have children or at least a child. Um, this person may have children, okay? Yeah. So I see very soon here at the bottom of the deck, okay? Spirit is saying, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, okay? So this person, you won't have to wait a long time here, okay? Because this person is coming in very soon, Spirit is saying, okay? So that is good, okay? Let's see. Um, what other messages we get here? So we have you deserve love. Spirit, what other messages? This is a situation that's going to go, like, we have love and marriage here, okay? I feel like this person may want to marry you, okay? There's going to be a lot of passion between you all. Passion, romance, love, okay? This person wants to take you on a date as well. I also see here, it's not going to take this person long. I know it's like strange to talk about like love and marriage when you're first meeting somebody and you don't know this person from Adam, <laughs> but y'all are going to have that close of a bond with one another here, okay? Um, it's not going to take this person long to propose to you, okay? There's definitely going to be good love making between you all as well. So if you've never been pleased to the fullest sexually, um, this could be the one, okay, to get you there. Okay, so we have here, will you be my girlfriend slash boyfriend here? Okay, so this person definitely wants to ask you to, to be their girlfriend or their boyfriend, however this goes here. At the bottom of the deck, we have a ransom unexpected partner by pure chance here, okay? So um, y'all could be randomly meeting randomly running into each other or something like that okay guys so that is what is going on here okay we're going to um we're going to get some other messages real quick just to see uh what other energy is out here for the situation Spirit, what other messages do I need to share with the collective? So we have acceptance here, okay? I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change here, okay? I feel like this person it may have maybe worried um, if you would accept them or not, okay? We have love here, okay? This person may have sat back and watched you for so long that they have, like, love for you i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things here okay so this person may have love for you already we have purpose i know what i am here to do here okay so um obviously you all being together um could be a part of the both of you all's life purpose divine purpose uh your specific path in which you are on we have trust here i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly here, okay? So, um, I definitely feel like you both could probably be entrusting on, on a higher power um, to help you make the, the right decisions when it comes to uh, relationships here. 
We have perseverance at the bottom of the deck here, okay? So I definitely feel like um, this person is going to definitely persevere, okay, when approaching you, okay? So even if you like standoffish or kind of try to blow this person off, this person may be persistent, okay? This says, I know um, that I can do whatever I set my mind to here, okay? So it's like this person is determined uh, to be with you, to have you, okay? So we have patience here. I feel like this person has been very patient for a very long time as they have set back. Purple is very significant here. I see a lot of purple here, okay? Somebody's favorite color could be purple. When you meet this person, you may have on purple. This person may be wearing purple when you see them here, okay? But this person has been very patient. And they're uh, in, in, in maybe waiting to approach you or whatever. I feel like it, th this patience is here on acceptance here, okay? Maybe this person has been worried for a while if you would, you know, accept them or not. If you would be... Um, attracted to them or not so we have communication that sits here on love here okay at some point in time i do feel like this person is definitely going to express to you how they feel about you okay and um as i said i feel like this person has sat back and watched you for a while purple is definitely very significant there's even purple here on this card here on the sunglasses card um, purple may be this person's favorite color. There's something significant to purple. Um, but you're going to get some type of communication from this person. Okay? And they're going to um, express how they really feel about you. So to clarify, purpose, yeah, feelings here. This person wants to express their, their purpose, their feelings with you. I do see discernment here. Be sure to use your discernment, okay? But um, I feel like with, with trust being here as well, Spirit may be calling for you to have trust, have faith, okay? That um, this situation is going to work out between you all or this is the person who is destined for you because this is definitely your soulmate here, okay? We have miracles here, okay? There's something miraculous that's taking place here that's happening between you all okay spirit any other messages so we have the dragon here okay this says discover your courage here okay this could be yourself or this could be your person this is very interesting purple that sky that's not blue that's purple here okay there's even purple here um on this this person that's riding here on this this dragon here purple is very significant you could like purple Pink is actually my favorite color, but I actually like purple a lot because I really like amethyst. So you see all this amethyst around me. It's Amethyst is purple. It's a purple uh, crystal here. Okay. Um, so you could like purple. We have the dove here, okay, which also is purple on this card. This says take a leap of faith, okay? So this person is working up the courage, and they're going to take a leap of, a leap of faith, and they're coming towards you. This person has sat back for quite some time. They've been very patient, okay? They've been worried about if you would be accepting unto them, okay? Um, and they are finally want to communicate with you and express their feelings for you, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have here, go with the flow here, okay? Let things happen, Spirit is saying, okay? So that's what's going on here, y'all. Okay, let's see if, let's see what messages your angels have for you as it relates to the situation. We have perfect timing. Oh, that's two cards here. Perfect timing. That was change in direction as well here, okay? So, um, something is happening in perfect timing, okay? Which is why that clock was sitting there with seduction here, okay? There's something about divine timing on you all's meet and, and, and greet here, okay? I'm telling you, there's something about purple and there's something about green here, okay? Purple could be your favorite color. Green could be their favorite color. Or you may have on purple and they may have on green on the day that you all meet. Or this person may have on both colors, purple and green. Or you may have on both colors. There's something significant to purple as well as green, okay? Um... 
Perfect timing says, and now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open. While you walk through them, wish, uh, excuse me, while you walk through them with us by your side, don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are right for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side, supporting your outcome. Okay? Yeah. So with uh, a change in direction also came out here as well. So Spirit is saying the changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. Okay. So for some of you all... Um, if you've been single for a very long time, perhaps you gave up on love. Perhaps you just didn't think love was going to happen for you or love was going to come. And you just kind of, you haven't, you know, waddled, wallowed in some type of, you know, little pity party or anything about it or whatever. But you just kind of continue to um, go on with life, okay? So this person coming in and this person, perfect timing and it's like passion and romance and love and and all of in soulmate and all of this obviously is going to provide a change of direction in you know your path here okay so or either even if you're not getting off your destined pathway this person is going to be a part of your path you're only going to be on this path together okay so we have what do you or yeah what do you desire at the bottom of the deck okay Spirit is saying that you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic, okay? So, obviously, you can have your heart's desires. What do you desire, okay? If this is the, your person that you've been hoping for, wishing for, dreaming of, Okay, um, then that's what you'll have, okay? Spirit, any other messages I need to share? Wow. So we have Divine Masculine here, okay? The, the frequency of Divine Masculine supports our strong focus and active side, allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom here, okay? So look, this is somebody's Divine Masculine. This is your Divine Masculine that is coming in for you, your soulmate, okay? Mm, yeah. Spirit, any other messages? Okay. Oh, goodness. Concept. Oh, wow. Okay. So I wasn't expecting all of this, but you have passion here. I also see the crown chakra here. Okay. So this person, I feel like this person going to be able to stimulate your mind, honey. Okay. Um, and we also have conception here. Um, you could be fertile. He could be fertile. You might end up having a child by this person. Even though this person is older. Just because a, a masculine is older. A masculine soldiers could be marching a whole lot longer than, you know, women, you know, can have children. You know what I'm saying? Look at that romantic love at the bottom of the deck. Prosperity. Magic. Something is magically happening in your life. Compassion. Fertility, you are definitely going to get pregnant by him. Healing, belief, coherence, realization, yeah. Oh. Allowance. Yeah, there's definitely romantic love that is coming in for you, honey. Romantic love and prosperity and passion, okay? This person with this crown chakra energy, this person is going to be able to stimulate your mind, your body, and your soul, honey, just possibly your spirit, child, okay? That's what it's looking like here, honey, and this type of thing don't even come out every day. I'm not even going to lie to you, okay? But that's what's going on for somebody. Hold on, guys. Let me go check out my food. Okay, guys, so look, let's pull some tarot on your love story, honey. So, we clarify um, seduction clock with past life 
relationship and you deserve love. Seduction clock, past life relationship and you deserve love. So we have the Empress here, okay? So this could be, Spirit could be telling this Empress, okay, that you deserve love. You could be a mother. You could be a mother figure here. You probably, you at least have one child, okay? You could possibly have more, okay? But we have the Empress here, okay? So this could be this Divine Masculine wanting to seduce you. However, wow. With healthy choices... <laughs> Mm -mm. We have the Six of Cups here, okay? This could be somebody from your past. This could be somebody from the past, okay? Um, it don't have to be somebody that you've been in a relationship with, with before, but perhaps you, you know of this person or something like that. We have the Lovers here on Cupid's Arrow. Let's clarify soulmates. So we have hermit here, okay? So perhaps you've been in hermit mode. Perhaps your person, your soulmate is in hermit mode. Both of you could be like introverts, you're kind of to yourself, by yourself here. That six of cups, let's go back to healthy choices real quick. That six of cups, it talks about like nostalgia. It talks about memories. It could talk about someone reminiscing on the past here, okay? But when it came out, for some reason, uh, I feel like this is like, I don't feel like you've been with this person before, okay? Perhaps this is uh, somebody, oh my gosh, could this person have literally been watching you for like the what, the last six weeks, six months, six years? Or something like that because they do talk about memories okay I don't feel like this is somebody from your past though for some of you all it could be spirit clarify old school this may be a fire sign for some of you all or either this person is just in this fire sign energy this person could be a such as Aries or Leo okay they could come off as very passionate charismatic or innovative and things like that here we have the six of wands here okay so this talks about success triumph victory even public recognition perhaps um <clears throat> This will be a very successful relationship, you all coming together. We also have the wheel here, which is the wheel of fortune here. Um, the wheel talks about progress. It talks about luck. It talks about uh, stability, security, independence. It talks about um, a lot of different things here, okay? But this wheel is in the upright. Uh, this could be signifying that this wheel is turning in you all's favor here, okay? Um... We have the eight of coins here. This may be somebody that you worked with. So it's still something stemming from the past. Okay, maybe you worked with this person in the past, but perhaps she wasn't in a relationship with this person. Because the eight of coins talks about the money one makes from the work that they do. Nine times out of ten, when you see the eight of coins, this talks about somebody's work, somebody's job, or something like that, okay? I do see the nine of coins here as well here, okay? Uh, this is here on soulmate. What is happening? <laughs> um, this talks about... This person could be financially stable and secure themselves. Now I'm seeing the, look, I'm not going to deal. This person is cloaking themselves. 
it's almost like they don't want me to know exactly who they are because now I see the King of Pentacles with the with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So you have the Eight, Nine, and Ten of Pentacles here, okay? Whoever this person is has money, has a lot of money. Justice at the, at the bottom of the deck. Does this person work for the justice system, law enforcement? Like, what is this? With the five of wands here, the, I, I see the five of wands. So there could be some type of jealousy or envy or competition for your person. Or maybe this person is jealous jealous or envious of you being with someone else this person has come out now in the same position of old school as the king of wands and the king of pentacles it only can be one person i feel like that's happening because he's cloaking himself okay it's like they don't want you to know who they are exactly here okay this person do want some type of commitment with you this could be how this person, if this is somebody who has known you for a while, this could be how this person already have love for you in some type of way here. The four of wands can tell either this person, this person definitely want like a serious committed relationship with you, wants celebration with you. Okay. The four of wands can also speak to marriage. Okay. This may be a situation that leads to marriage. Hopefully this person is not married. Okay. Because they could not possibly want this deep of connection with you if they are married. Like how in the hell is this your soulmate if this person is married to someone else? So <clears throat> I hadn't got any other messages to 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 say that this person is with someone else here we have temperance here okay so you could be in this temperance energy here temperance talks about balance it talks about patience okay if this person was married perhaps this is the reason why they have taken so long to come into your life perhaps maybe they needed to rectify other situations that they were dealing with or going through before coming towards you Okay, but spirit is saying that this is your, your soulmate with temperance here. Like I said, this talks about balance, it talks about patience. Okay, um, it speaks to uh, a lot of different things, it can speak to courage. Okay, um, you could be an end, you could be chosen, somebody could be a star seed, an indigo, someone could be a chosen one, an angelic being in some type of way here. Okay, or just very tempered. Patient, balance. This person, I see strength here, okay? So this person is definitely have, is trying to work up the strength, the courage, the, 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 to, to come towards you, to tell you how they feel about you, okay? I see Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. Ten of Cups, the Sun, and the Nine of Cups here, okay? So it's like you are this person's hopes, wish, or dream come true. This person could want a family with you. This person could have a family. We did, I, I told you in the other deck, we did see the children card. We know you came out as the empress, okay? So um, I'm not even getting a, uh, a direct energy card as to who this, this feminine is, who this empress is, but... We know that you are a mother. This person could be a father as well. Okay, yeah. Ten of Cups, Son, Nine of Cups, Four of Cups. So this person definitely wants to come in and make you some type of proposal, some type of offer here. This person feels like you would be their hope, wish, or dream come true. They feel like you, you all would be, you know, have happiness, abundance, um, fulfillment with one another here. Okay, this person desires to have a family with you. Okay. There's definitely something here with patience and the uh, perfect timing here, okay? So I see the two of cups here. This person definitely wants a, a partnership, like a relationship with you here, okay? I feel like this person has been working very hard to come towards you, okay? I, I do feel like maybe they needed to heal some things, work on some things, rectify some things in their life. That justice card could be they were going through a divorce or something like that or whatever. Perhaps this person wanted to finalize that situation, before coming towards you here, okay? However, when this happened, it is definitely going to bring about change in the both of you all's life here, okay? This person may want to travel towards you, okay? 
Um, this person definitely wants to communicate with you in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Spirit is saying that's the truth. That's clarity. This person wants to tell you the truth. Okay? Wants to give you some type of clarity. Okay? They're definitely manifesting you. Okay? They definitely have been behind the scenes manifesting you. Okay? This person is cloaking themselves though. Okay? So this person, they like I said, they've come out as both a fire sign and an earth sign. They're going to be one or the other. Okay? So this person could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, okay? Um, I see the Nine of Swords here, okay? So this person is in mental conflict. This person could be, like, stressed or worried um, about how to come towards you, how to tell you how they feel or something like that. With the Hangman here, they've, they've been in this mental conflict. I feel like they think about you a lot as they have sat back and watched you, okay? And they've been hanging around, waiting uh, for the perfect opportunity to come towards you or either waiting for something to shift or change or or something in their lives uh to free them up to be able to come towards you we have the higher thing here this person may have some type of position um in leadership in some type of way any other messages spirit this person may have also gone through some type of sadness, loss, disappointment, or regret here, okay? So I see the chariot here. This person definitely, this talks about a search for it. It talks about travel, trips, journeys, movement, relocation, and things like that, or what have you. I do feel like this person wants to travel towards you. Okay. So that's what's going on here, guys. There's what's going on here. I feel like at some point in time, this person may have been, yeah, this person was dealing with some conflict here. Conflict, defeat, burdens, hardships, problematic situations here. Um, maybe they had to get their money back right, okay? Um, this person do have extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions for you, though, okay? This person feel like you would be their emotional fulfillment here, okay? Okay. Um, there was definitely some things I, I feel like that this person had to heal, okay? I'm seeing that Five of Cups again, okay? Which talks about sadness, loss, disappointment, and regret, okay? Now I'm seeing the the King of Swords here, okay? Damn near every king is trying to come out in this deck here. This person is cloaking themselves. They, they may not want you to know as of yet who they are. Okay? That's what's going on here, okay? Remember, spirits say use your discernment here, okay? Um, when you do find out who this person is, you definitely want to use your discernment here. The discernment is like tied in in some type of way with trust here, okay? So this is definitely going to require you to have trust in a situation, faith or some type in some type of way. Um, not necessarily in man, but... Um, in a higher power, in your spirit guides here, okay? But at the end of the day, it's going to boil down to a decision like what you all are going to decide to do, how y'all are going to move forward um, in this relationship, okay? Spirit, um, what is the hidden truth as it relates to this situation? This person... I really don't feel like this is somebody, I hid who I really am from you. So I really don't feel like this is somebody you have been with before. This person hid who they really are from you. So if this person has spoke to you before or something like that, um, perhaps they, 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 you know, use some type of alias or something. This person knew exactly what they were doing here, but they when they hid who they were from you, this divine masculine. But this person wants to be more than friends with you. Spirit, are there any other hidden messages or hidden truths? 
This person loves you unconditionally. Who is this? This person know that they crossed the line with you, okay? I feel like this person has been behind the scenes doing something. This person is really attracted to you, though. I am so attracted to you. You speak to me through music. Hmm. Honey, I don't know, but spirits say this is your soulmate, okay? At some point in time, y'all are going to come together. This person has definitely been behind the scenes watching you, okay? Um... Let's see for the sake, of, the sake of seeing what other messages we have. So we have express yourself here, okay? So I feel like um, at some point in time, this person is going to express themselves to you. They're going to tell you how they feel. This could be you when that happens. This could be you speaking up, expressing yourself, okay? Um, somebody needs to let their faith be bigger than their fear in a situation here, Okay. There could have been a karmic that set up this divine masculine or a karmic could have set um, set up divine masculine or feminine, okay, as it relates to the situation. This person may be a single father. Sir, what other messages are out here? So we have love from a distance. This person may live a distance away from you in some type of way. So I do see single father here. So this person could, could be a single father. Spirit, any other messages? Messages as it relates to the situation, spirit. This person may want to go on some type of vacay getaway with you. This person might be an earth sign. I see earth, earth energy here. Okay, let me check my other deck real quick, guys, and we're gonna wrap this reading up. I just wanted to, I just wanted to see. Um, if there are any other messages. Spirit, any other messages as it relates to this person? So I see jealousy here. This person could have been... <laughs> maybe while this person was sit back, sitting back watching you. If you were talking to anybody else or dealing with anybody else, this person could have been become very jealous because of this. Spirit is saying that this is a new love though. what else is going on so we have soulmate partner here this is the third card that you have that says that this is your soulmate we have true love here okay so this is your true love this person wants you to be their girlfriend though whoever this person is okay this person may want to Wine and dying you in some type of way. Is there any other messages? Somebody went through some type of heartache and pain, though. Either you or your masculine. So I see sex with me so amazing. <laughs> this person is so anxious when it comes to you. Okay. Somebody may have a freaky fetish. This person may have some type of freaky fetish. Okay. We have you've come too far to give up now. So somebody has to feel maybe this person feels like they've come too far to give up now. I do see the chosen one. Okay, so one of you or both of you could be chosen. We did have um, 
we did have that temperance card that came out, which kind of speaks to that energy. Is there any other messages? This person could be stuck in their head about you or when it comes to you here. This person may have sustained some type of injury. Somebody got some type of injury because of a karmic lover or friends. So once again, we see distant lover here. So this person is definitely at a distance from you. Is there any other messages? So I see girlfriend here. This person desires um, for you to be their girlfriend. Okay, guys, let's check. Uh oh, let's check a couple more decks. Okay. <laughs> this card is kind of stuck up. So we got waiting on that new new. Okay, so this is your new new, honey. Um, whoever he may be. So we have stability and security. So you all would have, have stability and security together. Spirit, any other messages? We have Empress here. This is the second Empress card that you have received. The both of you could have could have experienced um burdens that was caused by others here i also see here new employment okay remember we had the eight of pentacles come out here if you are if you are about to gain a new job like if you you get a new job or something this person may work there okay this person may also be a leader at a specific job and want to hire you for something when they have really been watching you for the longest, have fallen in love with you, hid who they were from you. Um, this person may want to get close to you by offering you some type of new employment and then like spring it on you that they've known you all along, they like you, blase, blase. Cause something is significant to work. Okay. We have here your family members are gossiping and talking bad about you. Your family members could have been gossiping and talking bad about you to this person. Or maybe this person heard through the grapevine or something. Things that your family have been gossiping about or talking bad about you in some type of way about. Okay. Um, it could be um, this person. We do have the male, the man here. Okay. We know he came out as divine masculine here. Um this person could be a, a bit of a possessive soulmate. He is your soulmate, but this person is going to be overprotective. He's going to be overly affectionate. He's going to be jealous. Um, he may kind of cling to you, okay? Whether or not he's aggressive, abusive, or controlling, that would be like, that would come out of that fire sign energy for me, but that literally could come from anybody. That could come from a fire sign energy or an air sign energy, okay? They could come off as very aggressive, abusive, or controlling. Um, he he is still showing up as your soulmate, but he is a bit possessive. Like, he's, he's going to be overprotective of you in some type of way. Um very affectionate he's definitely going to be jealousy is there any other messages either you have toxic family members or he has toxic family members okay somebody's family is two-faced as well Somebody's family could have been trying to keep them from having love. Yeah, they've been low-key hating on you. We have here, is it safe to love again? This person could be having some sleepless nights, um, thinking about you, worrying about you, or something like that. 
there any, are there any other messages as it relates to this person? We have shock here. <laughs> it may shock you as to who this person is. I see make over here. This person may like you may get a makeover or something like that okay we have passionate new beginning here somebody is like low-key hating or people will be low-key um competing or hating on y'all's relationship or something like that so any other messages this person <laughs> This person, um, this person may have, damn, there's another soulmate card here. This is like one, two, three, four, five. This is five cards that says this person is your soulmate. This person may have done love spells or sex magic on you because they didn't want you to be with anybody else, okay? So if your love life has been like stuck, stagnant, non-existent, if you have like literally been um, single and celibate for years upon years, um, you're like a born again virgin in this month. <laughs> um, it's probably because somebody has been doing some type of spell work on your love life. So um, whether it's this person or somebody else. Okay, somebody has been doing sex magic or either love spell, so. Spirit, are there any other messages? So you have gotten to the point, I feel like this is energy for this empress. You've gotten to the point where you love yourself when no one else do. Okay. Um... But that's what's going on here. I also see envy. There could be people who are envious of y'all's relationship. Or this person may be jealousy and envy came out here. This person may be jealous or envious of you um, talking with somebody else, being with someone else, or something like that. Okay. So, yeah. That's what's going on here, y'all. Okay. Um... Let me um, look at one last deck, guys. We're going to wrap this reading up. Let's see. Um, just how freaky, risque this guy is. Okay. Okay, Spirit, um, give us clear messages about this alleged soulmate here. <laughs> so we have here i don't want no i don't want no minute man and skeeter here this feminine you could be a skeeter if you've never skeeted this man may be able to make you skeet honey okay um and he's not a minute man obviously so yeah we have ultimate climax here i want to be naughty Mm. Mm. <laughs> you make this person horny okay and he pre-comes a lot okay and i can't necessarily say a lot but he definitely is a pre-comer type of guy so we have sex on the beach um you know when you all get on that level y'all may have experienced sex on the beach okay um yeah. <laughs> so we have wet and juicy. Okay, maybe you... This person, maybe this person will make you wet. <laughs> 
So we have here your mind. I love when you say those words, okay? So maybe this person will desire you to say that or perhaps this you this is something that this person will say to you that's going to turn you on or something like that okay let's not forget that this person could be a possessive soulmate here okay so they might say something like this often your mind you know type of thing okay um this person might want to go on a couple's retreat freak a leak with you sir what else is going on <laughs> So we have here, I don't swallow, but illusion is a motherfucker. When you're good at what you do, I can make you think I did. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> this, this could be coming from the feminine. This could be the feminine, something, the feminine, a way of, with, that was like a personal <laughs> message that I put on there. That's how the hell I feel. So somebody else probably feels like that. Somebody don't swallow, okay? Which I don't blame you, like, ugh. okay? I don't know about y'all. Some people is into that stuff, but I don't, I don't you know, like. I don't mean to turn this into a table reading or anything, but yeah, my gag reflexes is stupid. I can't deal, okay? I can't even swallow oatmeal, unless I couldn't even imagine. Ew, like <laughs> what? Mm -mm. Sure, what else is going on? So I see taboo fetish here. So this person definitely, we have hot and seamy romance, okay? This person has some type of taboo fetish, honey. Mm -hmm. This could be any type of fetish. Like, I have a lot of fetish cards, but I haven't seen one in particular. But this person has... Just be aware. This person has freaky fetishes. He has a 10 to 12 inch cock here. Um, He could like face sitting. He could want you to sit on his face. If you all don't want to hear this part, the reading is basically over. Um, so, um, like, I totally get it if you don't want to hear this part. Um, we also have sex choice here, okay? Like, feminines usually like sex toys, but this person may like sex toys with you. Like, yeah. Dildos, rabbits, vibrators beads you know however you like it um <laughs> um he likes he likes his he he wants you how do i say this in a <sighs> seductive yet feminine yet classy way he wants you to Look, I just come direct with it. He likes it when you suck his balls, okay? Just period, okay? He likes that as well as he likes his nipples sucked as well, okay? It's just is what it is, honey, okay? Take it or leave it. Um, She wants you to hit all of her hot spots in G spot, okay? So that could be energy from the feminine. Are there any other messages? So we have strawberries, whipped cream, wine, and your body is all I need, okay? Want to lick you up and down from head to toe, okay? So, yeah. That's what he is thinking, feeling. That's what is on his mind when he thinks of you all intimately, okay? So let's see. What other messages are there, spirit? So you can be a young... Yeah. You could be a young single woman between the ages of 18 and 39 right now. This could be your current age, okay? So we have here, I like some sexy neck biting, hair pulling, butt spanking, back scratching sex, please. Okay, this may be what he likes. Um, we have here, I'm a hopeless romantic with a dirty mind. Sexual happiness is as important or excuse me, sexual happiness is an important part of a great relationship, okay? Mm 
Spread any other messages. Oh, so this <laughs> this person is a freak in public and in private, okay? Um, they like to be spontaneous. This person would would like to play with you under the table at a restaurant. It says that you got the love that I need. Everybody is a freak. It just takes the right person to bring it out. I can turn your... <laughs> you think? Um, I can turn your sexual fantasies into reality. I seen. Let's see if it comes back up. It went back in the deck. Okay. Yeah, it came back up. Um, I can turn your sexual uh, fantasies into realities. Okay. This says I give you permission to wake me up if you get horny. Okay. So this person don't mind you waking them up out of the sleep to get some. Okay. So we have here, I'm not open to many people. I'm usually quiet and shy. Normally, I'm an introvert who don't get much attention. So if I like you enough to show you the real me, you must be very special, okay? <laughs> this person got a kinky side, for real. And we have, last but not least, we have caution here. Sex with me may cause severe happiness, multiple orgasms, deep feelings, extreme body convulsions, and induced pleasure. Okay? So that's the deal with your person. Bottom of the deck, you, we have you got the love that I want. We already had you got the love that I need came out, but he feels like you got the love that he needs, that he wants. Okay? Honey, he might feel like you got that butter love. Okay? But that's what's going on here, guys. Okay, so I do hope that this is giving you all the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to um, a situation that you may be dealing with. Um, for those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. Quick side note, guys. Um, I just picked up that other deck and I seen um, Transcendence. Also, when I pulled this deck, Transition and Divine Masculine was trying to come out together. This is, I feel like this may be a side note from this situation for somebody. There is either a masculine who likes to who who may cross dress in secret, or either a masculine who has transitioned possibly to a feminine that is attracted to a woman. Like this person, like, so hopefully that makes sense, okay? This is a side note that I feel like may be separate from this situation, but there is a either cross-dressing or transgendered, because I've seen transcendence as well as transition. So he, this person, and I also seen cross-dresser that passed in my other deck, but I, I went past it. I'm like, you know, this probably is not with this situation here. Um, but this person do keep telling me, taboo fetishes freaky fetishes that has come out twice about this guy but this could totally this could be something totally different this this your divine masculine could be all man okay so you know not throwing shade there okay he can definitely it's you know it's still a few of them out there okay but there is um real quick side note there is a m m there i don't know whether to call a person masculine or not there is, because that's how they're coming to me is masculine, but this person is either into cross-dressing or this person is uh, transgender or going through some type of transformation, but this person is not gay. This person is, that just happened to be how they are, but they're attracted to a feminine, okay? So, that's for who it's for okay i do think that's a side note i do think that's maybe for somebody else okay yeah 
Okay, guys, so as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby, sonny. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So, y'all, watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And consider the fact that you never know. When someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. I see medicine woman. Hmm. What? Spirit of the what? What? I see a lot of, I see medicine woman here. Whoever this person is, who is like, who is this chosen one? I feel like it's this empress. You could be a chosen one. You're a natural born healer. You're a medicine woman. Okay. This stem from like past lives. Okay. Um, it could be tied into your life purpose here, but you are a medicine woman. You're a natural born healer. Okay. So you're like, um, on this earth to like heal and some other things heal and help others okay you're a medicine woman okay um besides this i'm seeing a lot I, I see balance here okay you see how one is white one is black here okay y'all i didn't get my opposites attract card didn't come out okay but um there could be something that's opposite about you all. Maybe your professions, maybe your race, maybe something here, okay? This also could be another reason why this person has to be patient and took so long to come in to you or to let you know that they like because they want... This could be another reason why they wondered if you would be accepting to them because this person is like outside of your race probably. Uh, it doesn't have to be. That's not for everybody. Somebody it may be, okay? That's a three though, Okay. I see three, I see six, then I see 36, then I see 33, and then I see 30. There's something here is with threes and sixes, honey, okay? Three is balance, six is darkness, 36 is the ancients, 33 is the spirit of the west, and 30 is the spirit of the east. So you all are going to find balance with each other here, okay? Y'all are soulmates, okay? Even if this is someone outside of your race here, okay? Um, with this six in this darkness here, okay? So hopefully ain't nobody, you know, you know. If somebody down for the six, that means they done sold their soul, <laughs> And they worship the devil, honey. Watch this, okay? Spirit could be telling y'all to balance. You, you know, everybody has a dark side, okay? But there needs to be balance, just like you see here. Light, dark, okay? Showing the opposite races here, okay? Just like you see the sun and the moon, okay? As above or below, balance it out, okay? Um, we also have the ancients here, Okay? So something is like, um, <laughs> cultural, historical, something here. I see an Indian on here, a Native American on here. I see an African on here. I see, um, I'm not sure what this guy could be. Um, there's a lot of different races of persons. There's something about the ancients here. And you all coming together. I see a wolf, a crow, a deer. 36 is the ancients here, okay? Well, we have spirit of the west as well as spirit of the east here, okay? Some of you, some somebody may stay on the east side. Somebody, somebody may stay in the east. Somebody may stay in the west. Okay? 
whoever this love is is a distant love okay so they they are at a distance Okay, guys, so I just wanted to, oh, I see womb here now. Somebody, you're going to have a child with this person. For some, some of you, yeah, child, look, I don't know how many kids you want. <laughs> There's three eggs in this basket, okay? Um, you know, hopefully this ain't a, a set of triplets, Okay. Uh, and you know, you know, hopefully y'all not having three children separately or whatever, especially if y'all already have children, but you know, maybe y'all just going to be getting it in like, that, you know, maybe that's what y'all destined to do. Chad, that's a lot of babies to be having, honey. Okay. I think a doggone shame to be just trying to get your groove <laughs> back. You'd have been single and celibate all this time. You get your groove back and get pregnant right away. You can't even enjoy it long okay but that's what's going on here honey the, the with the ancients here i feel like you're you, i feel like y'all's ancestors are bringing y'all together like there's something about you all being soulmates there's something about ancestors ancients or something that's bringing you all together okay but there could be for some of you all there could be like some type of cultural difference about you all okay but that's not to like deter you like there you know there's nothing wrong with being with somebody who is culturally different or come from somewhere else or you know anything like that so i'm not saying that okay um it's interesting that medicine woman came out here though okay you may be um you could be Most of your shamans, back in the day, most of your shamans and, and your medicine women, medicine women, or medicine women and men and different things, they were Native American or Indian, okay? You could be Native American, you could be Indian, you could be African American, you could be anything with roots like that for you to have, um, be in the energy of this medicine woman, okay? Because even though you're in this healing energy now, this stems from past lifetimes for you to have it in this lifetime. You understand what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So, anywho, honey. Hopefully that gave you all the truth and the clarity that you were seeking. Okay? So the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.